Hey fellas, it's the next day. We are cutting the uh, outer uh, shape. We uh, bought this, or Brian bought a uh, Lake, Lake Shore Carbide three blue half inch end mill. We have uh, sped up our spindle. We're running about 2,500 RPM. We're running 20 inches a minute in uh, hot rolled steel. Uh, thing is making an excellent, excellent chip. We're doing full depth, using the full end mill like John Saunders suggests. Uh, we're making beautiful chips, uh, cutting this contour out on the face. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Like I say, we're running around 2,500 RPM, 20 inches a minute, uh, the 20,000 step over. Uh, and you can see the surface finish is just awesome. It's nice and smooth. The floor is nice. And as you can see, we are only uh, 17 thousandths above the uh, vice jaw. We are right there as close as we can get it. So, this little update. I'll probably blend a couple of these videos together. Uh, anyway, happy machining. Thanks. One more thing about this, uh, the cam that we've done. Brian's got it programmed to ours where the uh, Z is a little slower. Basically 10 times slower. Um, he's got it programmed and set up to stay down all the time. And we're moving just back and forth, catching just a little bit. With a, the rapid speed being uh, at 180 inches a minute or something. Or as fast as it can get there. So, say once again, this is the part we're making. Here's the piece that we are machining. It's going to be a little stronger than the old one. But uh, you can see how that looks there. Looks really, really good tickled to death with how we've uh, done this cam. Uh, we've done this cam step by step, and it looks like we're having better success with it. So, Alright, see you in a few. Hey guys, uh, come back just a little bit. Uh, we pre-drilled these holes to one inch, as uh, other video shows. We, are, uh, we started basically with a half inch hole, and we're doing 20 inches a minute. And we're going to take these to final size, which is an inch and a quarter. You can see it's milling down in there. There was a little lip left, and we are cutting that out. Uh, it's only going to take eight minutes to do all three holes, basically, to size. We didn't leave but a few uh, thousands for stock. Uh, but it's pretty interesting to see it take off on the very beginning steps of this process. There we go. This first hole only had to have a quarter of an inch taken out of it, so it should just about be done. Sounds like we got a little shattered. for a uh, rubber grommet to go in. So here's the beginning step. See, it thinks it's starting in a half inch hole. It's pretty cool to watch the servo motor out here doing its thing. that engages. 
This is what it looks like over on the Masso screen. You can see the lines of code running. The X and the Y. We should just about be ready to touch. Hey fellas, uh, we've been working on it. We finished up the three holes. Uh, now we're starting our uh, 2D adapted clearing. We are uh, doing a 20,000 step over. We're still at the uh, 2,500 RPM or so. Uh, 20 inches a minute. We were thinking about actually stepping it up a little, but the 20 inches is making a really nice skip. It's not blue in color. Uh, the tool's running nice and cool. And it's making a beautiful cut in this thing. I mean, you can see it there. It's, see the step? It looks pretty good. But anyway, uh, we're still working on it. It says this step's going to take about 40 minutes or so. Uh, we'll bring you back getting a little closer to the end what it's doing. There's going to be a funny pattern here. I'll show you on the screen. That pattern will probably be interesting to watch. So we're going to, I'll bring you back when uh, we get to that part of it. All right, catch you in a few. Hey guys, we come back. Uh, we cut through there and we knew it was going to leave a little piece. But we didn't realize it was going to be uh, quite as thick as it was. Uh, now knowing what we know, we'll be able to do what we need to do, but next time. But it did cut through at 20 inches a minute, full width of the end mill. Didn't like it, but it did do it. Uh, but there's the pattern. It's going to finish out there. You can see our rapids in between time of uh, cutting. Anyway, we're still machining. On the next one, what we're going to do is actually go in and pocket out those holes bigger because we changed the size after we changed uh, what we were doing. So. pattern that it's running there. Boy, that chip is still hot. Sorry about the shaking. finish up that left side there and uh, while this thing is running we got another project we're working on so almost got it Boy, it sure is scary when it travels fast like that, real close. So, 
All right, well, we got a little bit more work to do outside while this thing's finishing up. We'll catch you guys in the next part. Bye. All right, well, guys, we, we've got our part made. We actually had some problems machining the back side and getting rid of our waste material. Um, so I, so we basically, we chucked it up and we cut it absolutely as thin as we could or we was brave enough to on top of the vise. And we was just standing here going on about how to get it off of there. And I see my tin snips laying there. So we actually machined it thin enough that you can take these tin snips and go around it and trim off the excess material at least good enough to get it on the belt sander to finish polishing the edge so uh, cut this other little piece here and I'll show you the step and everything we've machined in it yeah we couldn't believe that these uh, tin snips cut it we are down to about uh, about 30 thousandths thick or so uh, <laughs> Kind of surprised us that we was able to cut it off her. So, anyway, here's the part. We've bored this for a bearing fit. This bearing right here gets put in this direction. We put it on size or real close to on size, and it's got a small lip down inside there. So, there's our finished part. Like I say, here's the old part. Uh, here's our new one and our old one as you can see ours is a lot beefier than the old one but you can see what's happened to the old one there is it's wore and broke um, has about the same step and stuff in it uh, these two holes get bolted down with washers and rubber grommets to let this piece float on this hay rake that we're working on so we're gonna get rid of the sharp edge Call it done, call the fella and see if he wants to come and get it and try it. And if so, we got nine more to make. So, all right, guys, we'll have a good night. It's getting late here. Uh, part came out really well. We did kick it out of the vise once with the fly cutter. Uh, marred it up just a little, but oh well, things happen like that. So, all right, well, that's us. Good night.